Welcome to Get Cooking at Maggie's Place. Today we are going to make a delicious chicken salad sandwich. I roasted a chicken yesterday and I've taken about half of it and I deboned it and peeled the skin off. If you don't want to cook your own chicken, if you'd like to just pick one up from your grocer or deli that's already roasted, it really does the best for this sandwich. I prefer roasted than a boiled chicken. We're going to set our chicken aside and we're going to start cutting up our vegetables. What I've got here is I'm starting out with two small stalks of celery. Celery is really good in this. As always, it adds delicious flavor and a nice, good, crisp, clean crunch. And I'm just going to chop that up into small, small pieces. Set that aside. I'm going to take the other one split it down the middle and we'll go ahead and run our knife through that too. So we're going to set our celery aside and I also have a scallion. I'm going to cut off the little root part of it and we're just going to put that into little pieces. I prefer the scallion in this than a regular onion. Uh, onion has a very strong flavor and the scallion is mild and I want to cut it all the way through, even the, the green part. Okay, we're on our way. Also the little tops from the celery, they add great flavor. And I pulled these from the very middle of the whole package of celery. I'm also going to add for my herbs a bit, a tablespoon of curly parsley. I prefer that over the flat parsley. but you use whatever you prefer. So we have that chopped up. This is such an easy recipe and it can be done so quickly. Now here I have rosemary, fresh rosemary. There's nothing like it. And I'm going to chop that up very fine and add that in too. Rosemary is very fragrant, really nice. It goes well with chicken. It also goes well with pork. I prefer to put the fresh in my chicken salad, but if you don't have fresh, you're certainly welcome to use the dried. You might want to put that into a grinder or get ground uh, rosemary. I'm going to bring my chicken back over. Like I said, it was a roasted chicken, and I just took half of it and pulled the meat from it. And this is mostly the white meat. Be sure to add a bit of the dark meat too. It just really has awesome flavor. We're going to add our celery and our herbs and our scallions into this. Plus, I've already hard boiled an egg and chopped that up. We're going to mix that all in. And then we're going to add, and I like to use the dry. If you want to use the fresh, that's fine. About a quarter teaspoon of basil. And of course, our freshly cracked pepper about three or four spins, or about a half a teaspoonful, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And I like to use kosher salt. And we'll mix that a little bit more. There we go. And then, to put it all together, I've combined three quarter cups of mayonnaise, a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke and two to three tablespoons of ketchup. This makes a really nice dressing. People will be asking you, wow, where did you get that dressing? That just really tastes great. And it does. It has the light flavor of a Russian dressing without the relish, of course. And it has that nice smokiness to it that's just going to go ahead and absorb into our chicken. If you don't like liquid smoke or if you don't like smoky foods, go ahead and put a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire in here. It will taste absolutely wonderful. So we're going to put that onto our chicken salad. Get all of that goodness in there. There we go. Nice mix. Oh, this is going to be so great. I'm going to give that a really good mix. 
and then I'm going to cover it and set it in the refrigerator to chill for about an hour. Our chicken salad has been chilling in the refrigerator for an hour and all of the great flavors from the rosemary and the parsley and the liquid smoke have just been going into the chicken. It is going to be so delicious. Now I'm going to take a roll. I like to serve my chicken salad on a roll and I'm just going to cut it in half. And on the top I'm going to add a little bit more of our mayonnaise um, ketchup and our liquid smoke or Worcestershire sauce mixture and that's just going to help to hold our tomato on there so it doesn't slip and slide when you're eating it and we'll put a spoonful of our chicken salad a little bit more on there and and I like to use instead of iceberg lettuce I like to use a spring mix and put that on top. And then our nice slice of tomato. And if you want to, I like to add a little bit of salt. I like to add just a smidgen of salt to the tomato and a little bit of the dried basil. Tomatoes and basil go together. A little bit of that on top. We're going to flavor every layer and we're going to put our top on and we'll give it a nice cut right down the middle. Try not to smush, just try to lightly hold it together as you cut it and that way your chicken salad sandwich will maintain the height that you want for it. What a beautiful chicken salad sandwich. You could serve fries with this or potato chips. I usually serve fresh fruit, uh, some sliced up strawberries, bananas, grapes, whatever you desire. Your friends and family are going to love this. Thank you for joining me today. And for more family favorite recipes, be sure to go to Maggie's Place Cookbook.info.